Hi, yeah, John again from Booth Picks. Um, part two of a couple of videos on how to create a photo booth template um, from a client sketch for use in Breeze system software, on this occasion PS Remote, uh, but it will work across uh, most of them uh, without any trouble at all. Um, if you remember correctly, in video one we created the templates on the screen um, in Photoshop. Um, from a client sketch, this was our client sketch. This was uh, mock-up that was sent to me by a client that we had to turn into a template. And that's what we came up with very quickly uh, for this demonstration. If you watched part one you'd also know I suggested that you need to set up uh, the rulers in um, Photoshop on edit preferences to be pixels uh, and you'll see why this is appropriate now when we start to do this exercise. Okay, so how do we get this template with the correct coordinates so the pictures appear in the right place in PS Remote or DSLR Pro. Okay, well the first thing we need to do is we need to open Window uh, Information or F8 as a shortcut and it brings up this info screen and if you watch the X and Y and the width and height you'll see as I move around the screen uh, the settings change and by using the marquee tool and highlighting where the pictures are, where the uh, boxes are, and I'm doing this very roughly just for the purposes of the video. Uh, you can see now I've got roughly uh, 709 by 488 as uh, a box width um, for uh, each picture. Um, so what I would like to do then is I open PS Remote and by going into File and Photo Booth Settings and remember in Custom Layouts I'm going into the settings here um, the photos are going to appear in a completely different order to where they are now. If I show you the mo this, the, this particular one, this was for another uh, client I was doing, they appear as one, two, three, four, because this is actually a portrait um, layout that I'm using for another client. So I need to move those so it appears one, two, three, four, and it'd be a landscape. Um, it'll still look the same on the screen, but the images will appear in a different order. So, uh, first of all, Taking uh, those figures there, 709 by 488, so let's say it's 710 by 490. So let's just quickly type that in 710 by 490. It's only a little bit different to the size images I've got there, but let's just quickly type those numbers in. And you can see I'm typing it under the width and height there on the screen. And you can watch this in uh, HD, changing the settings on YouTube so you can watch it on a bigger screen and see more detail about what I'm typing. Um, so now I've got the picture sizes in, you won't see much difference on the preview, it's going to do the same again, they look very similar. It won't start to change until we change the left and top coordinates in the settings here. So this, the next one I need to know is picture 1 and picture 2, how far down do they appear? So by clicking on the top bear with me while I get this on there, by clicking on the top of that box it's telling me on the x-axis there I've got roughly 151, so if you call it 150 so if I type in to the PS Remote from the top 150 and I want the same for picture number 2 okay and then picture number 3 and 4 is going to be uh, I do apologise, I've used the wrong coordinate there, sorry. That's 84 down there. Let's get the right coordinate, sorry. So that one's 84. It does help if you get the right coordinate to the right box. Um, and then going down here, we are looking at, uh, it says 596, I'm going to call that 600. Um, so I would put that down as 600. Okay, so that's the top of, uh, top of each box sorted out. I then want to do the left of each set of boxes. So I want to come over here and look how far in do I need to indent it. It's about 147 there, so it's about... If I say 150 in, we're not far off. So if I type in from the left, 150 for number 2 and then 150 for number 3 and then we want to do the same here so from the left 
we're looking at about it's roughly nine nine six seven there so uh, yeah nine six um, yeah nine six seven so I'll type in there uh, sorry number two nine six seven for that one and nine six seven for number four now in theory if I've got this right it should be one two three four Across the screen, just reduce down, prom. just make it a bit bigger so you can see that on the screen. How are we doing? There we go. So I've got image one there, image two there, image three there, image four there, which would be a fairly standard layout. Um, they're roughly underneath the overlay we created. So when the overlay is put on top, it will just take out small fractions of the each finer edge, but that is now um, set up for that template. Uh, clicking OK, we'll save those settings in there, and in fact I would take it further, I would hit save and I would um, give that particular template a name, a client name, or if you want to use it for the things, a particular design style, and save that for future reference so it's there to come back to. Uh, and that literally is it, that's all you need to do. Hope you found this useful, I uh, hope you find it a much quicker way of designing the templates and working out where the coordinates are. Thank you for watching, uh, please visit us again. Um, no doubt we'll be doing more videos on photo booth in, in the near future. Take care, cheers.